Elemental Earth is one of the best low levels farms you can do in World of Warcraft Classic. The only problem is tons of people love to farm Elemental Earth. And for good reason, it sells really well. The good news is, here in Badlands, there's three spawns for the Elementals that drop it. Here, here, and here. So one, two, three spots. Now, two of the three are already taken this early in the morning, so I'm gonna go back to the second spot over here, which is actually my favorite, the one right above Dust Belch Grotto. And just because, it, in my experience, it has the least amount of people on it. Let's see how tough these guys are. One down, 499 to go. And you could be asking, hey, Brock, why aren't you doing this on your mage? And the answer is, I'm sure it's a little bit slower on the warrior, but any excuse to play my warrior, I will take. Because uh, I'm not the biggest mage fan. I have one, and he's geared, but any excuse I have to play my warrior, I'm going to take. Salt, you brought salt. The only thing that's really worth money here would be the solid stone and, of course, the elemental earth. That's the big money. Oh, there we go. Elemental earth. That's exactly what we're looking for. And it only took about 11 mobs to get our first one. Oh my god, a second one? That's a that's pretty lucky, dude. That's pretty lucky. 11 mobs for two elemental earth. Let's keep it going. That guy just leveled up. Congrats, dude. Badlands reminds me of Tremors. Have you guys ever seen the movie Tremors? giant worm monsters that would suck dude in real life that would blow but i always feel like there are tremors wandering around out here i think that'd be a cool mob just little worms that pop out of the ground well i guess that's kind of like silithus <laughs> now that i think about it i wonder if it's worth it to head over to one of the other spots to try to snag a couple more while these respawn the key is getting this spot all to yourself. Like, honestly, right now, I should not be complaining. This is about as good as it gets. I have this whole spawn to myself. Who knows how long it'll stay that way, but... We're cooking. I really feel like the, uh... Where is it? The solid stone is going to be worth something. I can't tell you off the top of my head, but I do know solid stone sells. Nice. Another elemental earth. This is 99 and 100 of the elementals so far. And overall, I could say that it's not bad. We've gotten seven elemental airs. That's actually pretty nuts for just 100, but I think that's too, I think that's, I think that's lucky for 100, but we'll see. Yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's just get right into getting to the 500.
Oh, all right, guys. So here we are at 498. We're going to get two here, our last two kills. My final thoughts are uh, I definitely spent a lot of time running in circles, but that's cool because I made like truces with the guys at the other spawns pretty much. So I had this one. Other people had there too, which basically allowed us to get all these 500 here. Let's see if we get anything good off this last kill. Nothing at all, but <laughs> that's all right because we have... Plenty of kills here, all finished, 500, to 501 total kills. That's because, uh, well, one of the elites kind of wandered by the cliff and I had to kill him, so that's why I got the extra two there. But 500 elementals, let's hop on over to Stormwind and see what we got. So I learned something. I think more greys drop off these mobs than any other mob in the entire game because we got 249 lifeless stone, 185 solid stone, 96 deep rock salt, 3 core of earths, 76 shiny polished stones, 3 jagged piece of stone, which is actually pretty weird. Like 500 mobs for 3 grays. That's kind of nuts. But anyways, 186 smooth stone chips, and then the big tick items would be the 25 elemental earths, along with some miscellaneous blues and greens, 6 aquamarines, a regal hat of the owl, Huntsman Armor of the Monkey, a Citrine, Citrine, I don't know, Jesus, I'm gonna get butchered for that in the comments. Uh, two lock boxes, some Sorcerer Gloves, a Breastplate of the Falcon, and the Curved Bladed Ripper. This would probably sell more if we were a horde, but uh, the Umbral Crystal might sell for a lot, I'm not sure. But let's head over and see how much exactly we get for all these greys. So much stone, dude. So we got actually 24 raw gold, 24 gold, 32 silver, 61 copper, just from all those grays. That's actually nuts, dude. From 500 mobs, 24 and a half gold worth of just pure, you know, venerable straight gold. If you're level 40, that's, you know, that's a quarter of your mount right there just from the venerables. Let's check out how much we get for these solid stones. So it looks like solid stone, we get four gold for a stack of 20 that's not bad we got nine of those we can go ahead and throw those up deep rock salt i didn't expect to get anything for that three core of earth this doesn't go for much aquamarines again they don't go for much i usually sell all my greens for about five gold and if they don't sell i vendor them unless there's you know some up that i undercut Get all these greens out of the way. Not bad. All right. So what about this curved bladed ripper? There's already one for 19, 20 gold. That's about that's about what I'd say. I'm gonna go ahead and put mine up for 16 though, just because I want to be sure it sells. But 20 gold, if you're one willing to wait it out, I'm sure it would sell for that. And then everybody's doing marabou, so unfortunately, the you know those level items aren't worth much. But what is going to be worth a lot is the elemental earth. This is the money here. So we got 25. What I like about elemental earth is they sell quick, you know? So I put them up in stacks of one because, you know, people, it's just easier for people, I guess. 25 of one. We're going to make a decent amount of money. So we're looking at... 112 gold worth of elemental earth so basically if you're level 40 and you're trying to get your epic mount you could probably expect to just come out here and kill 500 mobs and get it just off of the elemental earth alone let alone you know the bonus 24 or whatever gold we got from fendering all those grays unbelievably good farm at that level if you can secure it i mean i went i was there early morning i really did want to secure it you know just to myself i'm on thunder fury which is a populated server and I had zero problems. I had to shoo off one or two horde, but other than that, 
you know, easy peasy. Let's see what we get from these lockboxes, though. Crappy boots and crappy bracers. It's not too bad. I mean, that farm is insane. Honestly, my final thoughts, guys, that is the place to be if you're trying to get your normal mount. If you can lock that spot to yourself, they're not too hard to kill. I mean, the, the drop rates on those elemental earths are pretty disgusting. And they're, like I said, they're not hard to kill. I noticed, you know, not having uh, the bleed damage kind of affected me as a warrior, but I'm not even super geared and I was able to just cut through those things like butter. So not a bad level 60 farm if you can get it to yourself. Fantastic level 40 farm. I really want to thank you guys for all the support on the last videos. It's been kind of nuts. Really appreciate all the likes, you know, it's been sick. If you guys do have a second though, please go follow my Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm trying to get a couple followers over there before TBC drops because I really want to stream warrior arenas and, you know, have more than one or two viewers. So anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. Any recommendations, please leave them below. I'd love to uh, keep the mobs coming. And anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.